show their skills. Everybody wants to get there faster, make their way to the top of the hill. Each time you try, go against a little bit better. Each step you climb, one more step up the ladder. It's a whole new world we live in. It's a whole new way to see. It's a whole new place with a brand new attitude. But you still gotta catch them all. Be the best that you can. What it do, YouTube? MGM for Life here. Back again, bringing you something new and exciting. So um, today is going to be the first installment of my Pokemon Black 2, White 2, playthrough. It's actually Black 2, but um, the game comes out in English in America on October 7th, so I thought it would be a good time to... Uh... There you go, Jeremiah. Uh, <laughs> so I thought it would be a good time to um, do a playthrough. Um... Let's see. Yeah, it's only three weeks away, so I hope uh, I won't be um, flagged or anything for it. Well, I probably won't be. But um, I actually have not played Black 2 or White 2, so it's new for me. Um, I don't know. I haven't actually watched any of the playthroughs either because I don't want to spoil it for myself. So if you don't like spoilers, then just don't watch these videos. But um, I've good, a consensus tells me that a lot of people like these type of videos, so I decided to do them. try one on, my, on our channel. Um, this is actually a, a preliminary step to uh, record, having Wi-Fi battles uploaded to the channel. Still trying to figure that out. It's a lot harder than you would think it is. At least for me. I don't know about you guys. And uh, yeah, so I'm going to actually also I'm going to Nuzlocke it. So if you guys don't know what Nuzlocke is, I actually didn't know what Nuzlocke is until like maybe two weeks ago. Um, it's a Nuzlocke challenge. Somebody created it. doesn't matter who he is. Uh, basically the rules are, if you don't know. Um, you have to catch the first Pokemon that you see on any route, and if a Pokemon faints, it's uh, considered dead, so you have to release it. Um, that's pretty much it, so, um, a lot of people are basically doing it with a random, so you have to have a randomizer code on, so that way the wild the Pokemon encounters are random, so you can't control what you catch. That's what a lot of people have been doing. I don't know if you have to do that, but, um, that's what I'm going to do. Unfortunately, there is not a randomizer code that I know of for black and white too yet so I've come up with a creative way to solve that problem and basically what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use a random Pokemon generator it's uh, basically a website that you go to generate s any number from one to six Pokemon at completely at random and I'm, I'm gonna use that uh, in conjunction with the wild Pokemon modifier code for black and white too so before I catch a Pokemon and I will show you guys the Pokemon that I generate so it'll all be live so you won't think that I'm cheating I'm going to randomly generate a Pokemon and then make that a Pokemon appear in the wild via the um, wild Pokemon modifier code that is on my Desmume. And I'll catch that Pokemon and that'll be, that'll be all the catches that I make. And then I'll probably just turn it off and let the Patrats and fucking whatever comes up come up. But that's how I'm going to be doing the Nuzlocke since I don't know of any randomizer code for uh, Black 2 or White 2. Uh, if you guys know, um, please let me know. Also, well, another thing I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be naming my Pokemon that I catch after my subscribers. So, if you want to be Pokemon, if you want to be named after a Pokemon that I catch in my playthrough, just comment saying, I want to be a Pokemon, and I will try to name you, or I will, I will name a Pokemon after you. Obviously, I can only, it can only be six people, or actually that's not technically true, but whatever, whatever, that's all logistical stuff. That doesn't really matter at this point. If you want to be named after a Pokemon, basically just comment saying, I want to be named after a Pokemon, and I will try to do so. And uh, this is very long and drawn out, so I'm going to stop it right here, and uh, let's get into the playthrough. Okay, so here we are in the Sparsha City, and uh, we're going to start this playthrough. So um, basically, uh, I'm about to go and... Also, if it looks like I'm doing random-ish and moving around like a retard, it's because... Um, it, there's a slowdown when I record it, so it's like, so it's hard to move at the same time. So anyway, we just met our rival, actually, and his sister, Travis, and he's, uh, telling me about, um, being how boring it is to be a Pokemon trainer in the city, and, uh, now I'm gonna tell him that someone named Bianca is going to give me a Pokemon. Bitch! <laughs> yeah, so for you, and Travis' sister, MJM, which is me, of course, take good care of your Pokemon after you get it. Of course, why wouldn't I? Right, Travis says. 
All right, you have to go to get your Pokemon. I'll go with you. Bitch, nobody said you could come with me. You can't just invite yourself to come with me. That's some old, that's real niggerish of you, Travis. <laughs> anyway, then he tells his sister to go home. Bogus. Bye. Uh-oh. Sister got the hots for me. Low key on the low low. All right, so basically he tells me that he's going to follow me and let's go. So now... I'm gonna run into a lot of trees because again my recorder slows down. I talked to this guy and he says that uh, it's wonderful uh, being alongside different Pokemon and people, blah 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 blah. I'm gonna go into this building, see some old folks, so I'm gonna talk to him. And I say, if you have a Pokemon, you you can't you can't leave the city if you don't have a Pokemon. And uh, this person is um, he asked me, did I bring Travis along to brag about my Pokemon? Hell yeah, I did. <laughs> And uh, let's talk to this people. Oh, also, this is an emulator, so some of the people like this are still in Japanese, and that means that they're pretty unimportant and they don't really have anything to say. So that's why the translators did not decide to translate them. And so uh, I don't know what the fuck you're talking about. So uh, yeah, shut up. All right, so let's leave this building and uh, let's go to another building. So basically, I'm just gonna talk to all the people, uh, just so you know what they say if you really even care. And I probably am not gonna talk to everyone. Uh, just uh, like I know that person right there, the karate guy is a Japanese, is Japanese, and this woman is also Japanese. But I didn't remember whether or not she was. I figured whether or not. And also, you can talk to Travis, but he's also in Japanese, so that means he ain't talking about shit. So now I'm gonna go upstairs, and his sister should be in here. Yep, there she is. I'm gonna talk to her. I'm not gonna see MJM Sans. So you know, it's still uh, Japanese flavor. It has still has a Japanese flavor to it. Uh, she asked me, as I found, have I found Bianca? And obviously I haven't, since I don't have a Pokemon. Dumbass, that's a dumbass question. So uh, Karate Man was getting in my way there. Um, so now let's go talk to this old people, because old people have wise things to say. And he says, um, the lookout, you can see the lake of Route 19 from there. So that's a hint, hint, wink, wink. That's where you're supposed to go, if you did not know. And now let's talk to this lady, and she says, Pokemon, trainers, and... Uh, I hear gym leaders are tough, blah, 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 blah. You ain't talking about nothing. So this guy, let's see. Um, let's talk to you. Stop running away from me. Uh, you may become a, a man on your trip. I wish I could take a trip. Um, you're a grown-ass man. What are you talking about? <laughs> what? <laughs> that made no sense. All right, let's talk to this woman. See what she's talking about. Oh, if you visit your mom, you can heal your Pokemon. If you didn't know that, now you know. That's always a good idea, too. Bad translation right there. Trainer and then Japanese. We don't know what you're saying, bro. Shut the fuck up. All right. So uh, now I think I'm going to just continue on with the story. Stop talking to people because they really ain't talking about shit. And uh, yeah, so now I'm gonna go up to this, the, up this stairway and see what's up here. Even though I already, I already know. Uh, look, that person out there. A special lookout. Uh, could it be Bianca? It's great scenery, scenery there too. Come on, go get your Pokemon. So obviously Travis knows what's up and knows that this is Bianca. And uh, look at that scene. Pretty sick right there. Uh, this view is spectacular. Uh, don't you think? Don't you think so too? Yes. Oh, I'm Bianca. Yeah, I already knew that, but whatever. Professor Jennifer's assistant. When it comes to Pokemon, I'm looking for somebody that that lives here. Do you know anyone named MJM? Of course, bitch. That's me. <laughs> ah, you're MJM. Damn right. Wow, you're just as I heard. Mm, I know, I'm sexy as fuck. <laughs> uh, I'm pleased to meet you. Um, I have to ask you something. Would you want to fill up the pages in the Pokedex? Of course. Why wouldn't I? Thank you. With your help, Professor Juniper will be able to do more research. Filling up the Pokedex will be lots of fun. I hope so. And uh, now it's just kind of random stoppage here. So I was like, what the fuck am I supposed to do now? And... Uh, then I just decided to just talk to her again just to see. And it turns out that that's how you continue on with the story. All right, ta-da, these are the Pokemon that could become your partner. And uh, on the bottom of the screen, she actually shows you the Pokemon, but I only, I'm only showing you guys the top of the screen. So uh, Tepig, Snivy, of course, and Oshawott. I really want Tepig, but since I'm doing a Nuzlocke, and there is a chance that I won't get a water Pokemon, and Surf is really important, I'm actually going to choose Oshawott. So just in case I don't get any water Pokemon, I have a water Pokemon starter. Wow, I think Oshawott is perfect for you. Uh, do you want to give your Pokemon a nickname? Yes, and I'm going to nickname Oshawott after one of my first subscribers, Servo Mark. So, Oshawott is going to be named Servo. And again, you can't see me typing in Servo because I'm only, 
I cropped it so that you can only see the top half. It's not really important what's going on in the bottom half. I just named him Servo. See? Servo! Is that going to be his nickname? Yes. Servo. What an awesome nickname. Oops, I almost forgot. You also need the Pokedex. Bam. Thanks for that. So now I got the Pokedex. Sweet. Uh, the Pokedex. It's a high-tech device that records data about every Pokemon you meet. Take the Pokedex with you everywhere you go. You can also try to meet every Pokemon in New Nova Region. It's a request from Professor Juniper herself. Well, it comes from the big wigs. You know I gotta do it. Hey, I can't wait forever. Hurry up. Damn, bitch, shut up. I already got my shit. Wow, that's your partner. Blah, 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 blah. He's talking about his sister expects a lot from him. We really don't care about this shit. Uh, good luck with the Pokedex. And now Travis, oh, hating ass. He gotta copy me. He like a Pokedex too. I want to get stronger. Meeting a bunch of Pokemon and using the Pokedex <laughs> will make me stronger. No, it won't, bitch. You're going to suck for the rest of your life. Who are you? <laughs> Who are you? I'm Travis. I want to make new Pokemon friends and travel through the Unova region. And Bianca's like, yeah, fuck it. I see. Uh, I don't see how traveling could be a bad thing. I actually happen to have a spare Pokedex. This is designed from... <laughs> so he gets that old-ass version. <laughs> Bogus. <laughs> so, um... Yeah, so he gets a Pokedex. Hey, hey. Um, why not have two people working on the Pokedex? And of course this bitch-ass nigga wants to fight me now. Hey, you're not the only trainer here anymore. The egg was <laughs> that I was taking care of has it to a Snivy. Get the bullshit. Get the fuck out of here. You just happen to have the Pokemon that my Pokemon is weak to. <laughs> I like how the game didn't even mention that he had an egg at all. Like, it's just randomly, oh, I have an egg and it's a Snivy. Let's fight. That's kind of stupid. But anyway, so this is actually, when I, this battle, I actually wanted to test to see if this, if the first battle is rigged. So I'm actually just going to keep going for Tail Whips until he, until I'm pretty much trying to lose. But I had, had I actually had a theory that I can't lose this battle. So that's why I'm kind of playing it to lose. Just to see what happens. And uh, I know it's kind of risky because if the Servo dies, he's dead forever. But uh, no, I was pretty, pretty sure that the game is rigged. At least this first battle is. So I'm going to tackle. Pretty much all he has to do is keep tackling me like he's been doing and I'll lose. And um, all of a sudden now I'm faster. Like Notice how he was faster before and now I'm faster. And then he goes for Leer. So I, yeah, this, this battle, first battle is definitely rigged. I, I'm pretty sure it's damn near impossible to lose it. Um, I didn't really try super super hard to lose because obviously this is a nut block and if I do actually end up losing I can't use Oshawa and the reason why I picked it was so that I could use it for the later game in Surf if I if I am if I am if I, if, I, ah, if I'm unfortunate enough to not catch a water Pokemon I don't know why that was so hard to say but anyway we beat Travis beat his ass and stole his money <laughs> I'm a goon straight gangster with a Pokemon oh well that just means you're gonna be a great trainer of course bitch I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna go on ahead you better get stronger Oh, don't worry about that. Best believe I'll be getting stronger. Okay, so uh, now she's talking about um, battling helps them grow stronger, and my Pokemon are tired, so let's go to the Pokemon Center. And, uh, yeah, so she's going to force us to go to the Pokemon Center. And this is the Pokemon Center. It's also a gathering spot for people. Let's head in. All right, let's go to the Pokemon Center and uh, see what we can see. This is the Pokemon Center. I'll show you around. I right, thank you. Mm, this is a free service to heal your Pokemon, and when they're weak, don't hesitate to leave it with them. All right. To heal your Pokemon to full health, you can rely on me. Thank you, Nurse Joy. Is it still Nurse Joy? I think it is. Should be. <laughs> I'm going to be sending a lot of people to you, Nurse Joy. <laughs> I'm going to keep you busy, even though it's... How, how does she get paid if she, if she works for free, basically? I don't understand that. How do they pay the bills? This game makes no sense. Anyway, she's telling you about the PC box. I'm sure you guys already know about that, so I don't want to even read that. And she's telling me about the Pokemart. So, uh, yeah, you can buy stuff on your journey. And uh, they also you can also sell things. Pokeballs here. You can catch new Pokemon. But, of course, Bianca is so in love with me that she's going to give me Pokeballs for free. She gave me a present. A Pokeball. And I think it's actually 10 Pokeballs. So, um, that's pretty much it. And uh, we're going to start stop recording soon. So, hope you guys like this. And stay tuned for the next stuff. Peace.